let's start billing. Okay, so we have seen basically all the process from sales order, delivery, post grid issue, and transfer order. Okay, so let me explain it one by one here. So, so from sales order, we have seen the different settings for sales order so far. We have seen the different settings for delivery. We have seen the different settings for picking and packing. And we have also seen what is goods, post good issue. And the last one is billing. Okay, billing. So billing is basically a, you can say a, a, a common part between SAP SD and SAP FICO, SAP Finance side of it. Okay. So because billing, all the invoices that we're creating in the system that will be integrated to the accounting, the finance uh, side of the SAP system. Okay. So here we'll be just studying the SD side, more of the SD side and just a little bit about the finance side. Okay. So let's start with billing. So what happens when we create a billing document? Okay. So as soon as I create a billing document, let me open a billing document here. That's a billing document. Okay. So system will update the document flow. That's the one thing. Okay. So if you go to the document flow, system will update the document flow. System will say, okay, I have created a new billing document here. Okay. I've created a new billing document. So you can see different types of things happening. So system billing order and deliveries. <clears throat> Um, not this one, um, actually, yes, <clears throat> so when we integrate, uh, how the billing is integrated with the SD process chain, okay, so billing, so basically what, what happens is when we're creating a billing document, system is, see the second one, system will be updating the document flow, also we're doing the billing orders for end deliveries, okay, so basically what we do is, we billing all the orders, and the deliveries. Okay, so we'll do, do, we'll build all the orders in the case of service items. But if we have physical good items that are supposed to be delivered, then we will be delivering using the uh, uh, deliveries. Okay. Then system. What next happens is system also creates document in the financial accounting. Okay. So if I show you this one. Um, okay. As soon as I created this invoice, invoice number nine zero zero three eight one zero four. But system automatically created an accounting document, okay, for finance. Okay, so so I will create the invoice. System will automatically create the accounting document. Okay, so that's what this this one is saying. So creating documents for the financial accounting, then updating billing status. System also will update the billing status. So you can see the billing status probably in the delivery as well. For if I go to the delivery, this way delivery document, and if I go to the detail of this item <coughs> uh, material. Processing here you can see the delivery billing document is status will be C C means fully invoiced. Okay, so before invoicing it must be uh, not invoiced. Okay, not not invoiced. Okay, so it will update the the billing uh, document status and update the sales information system. It will also update the sales information system. Okay, remember I've shown you the sales information system before where you can uh, run different types of reports. Okay, in the for the system that how many sales order created in the system so far, how many billing documents created, what were their values and all that. System will update that. And system will also update the credit account for the customer. Okay, what the credit account is? So as I mentioned before that whenever we set up a customer in the system, the finance department creates a credit limit for the customer. That means this customer can buy a maximum of 5,000 from us before paying us as a part of credit. And a big customer can buy say 100,000 from us. Okay. So as soon as you create a billing document, system will update the credit account. That means if you if the customer has 5,000 limit and you created a billing document of say 1,000, let me show you here. So for example, if the customer has customer credit limit setup is say $5,000. Okay. So as soon as you created a billing document one, which is of value, say dollar one thousand. Okay, so system will update this one credit limit. That means system will system will know that I'm only supposed to give the customer of another of another four thousand dollar of value as per the credit limit. So system will update this one. Okay, system knows that now I'm only supposed to give them four thousand of the goods and not after that. Okay, so system will update this one. 
<coughs> and uh, forward data for profitability analysis. Okay, again, system will send the data to the accounting for the profitability analysis. Okay, so these are the things happen happening when we're creating a billing document in SD process chain. So structure of a billing document. So again, basically it has two parts, header and, and item. Okay, so similar to the sales order, but it doesn't have a schedule line like sales order. So if I go back, go back. So this is my billing document here. This is my billing document. So this is the header and this is the item. Okay, so to go to the header, go to header and go to any part of header, pricing, output and all that. And go to item, select the item or either go by this path, go item, item details or anything you want to see or select that or click on this one, this one, details in the bottom. It will take you to the item details screen. Okay, so they have two, two, two screen basically, header data and item data. Okay, so that's a basically general structure of a uh, billing document. Billing document screen, we have a header screen, we have an overview screen <laughs> and we have an item screen. So basically, <clears throat> what this one is saying is, in header screen you can see all these things, condition, output, text and all that. This is the overview screen and that's the item screen. You can see the pricing, details, partner, condition, tax and all that. Okay, for example, if I open this one. So this is the overview screen. The main screen is the overview screen. And to go to the header, I'll go to the header and select any of the field here that I want to see. For example, output, tax, anything. Okay, so if I go to output, so it will show you the output data. Okay, where the output, how the system should send the invoice, like print out, send by fax and all that. Okay, and if I select item and go to item and I can go to any of them, item text, item condition, item partner, item details. So for example, if I go to item details, here I can see all the item details. Okay, you can see the plant, you can see the weight and all that. And if I go to condition, you can see the conditions, like pricing conditions. Okay, so, so that's the structure of a billing document. Then billing overview. <clears throat> so some um, uh, here I'll show you first. Uh, um, this is actually um, this is the wrong heading. This should be saying organizational structure in billing in billing. Okay, so let me save this. Okay, so this is basically showing the of structure in the billing okay so basically we have seen it before but we'll see it again here that um, how we can how we uh, the the org structure in the um, in the billing okay so basically uh, you have seen it before that we first we define something then we assign something if I go to the customizing here that okay if you go to the enterprise structure here okay here you can see two tabs define and assign see define and assign first you define everything okay whatever you want to define so under sales and distribution for example defining sales organization all that so so we'll define here whatever you want to define then you will make the assignment under assign okay so it's a two-step procedure procedure define it and assign it okay so that's what it's showing define and assign is a two-step procedure then from the billing point of view we have a like a on the top we have a client and our client we have a different company codes okay under company codes we have sales organization and under sales organization we could have plants okay so let me show you that here that first we have say company code under company code we have say sales organization okay and under sales organization we have plants okay so to, to first we'll define them Okay, how you want to define it, then we'll assign it. Okay, now assignment is a bit tricky because there's some things like what can be assigned and if we can assign more than one or only one. Okay, so this will take a time for, for if you're preparing for certification, you need to remember all that. But when you're doing practical system can automatically tell you that the limitation. Okay, so what I mean is, um, let me close this one. What I mean is, um, first you will define here whatever you want to define. Okay, for example, um, if you want to define a 